Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of all of this. We don't need this here anymore. Now, one thing I have not uh, kind of like <clears throat> now. Okay, so this is this is the thing about this game, right? I'll tell you tell you something about this game. Um, it doesn't tell you, right? It doesn't tell you that this is a good thing to have. Like this is this is what you should do, right? Hey, you should. Do, it's kind of like go out and figure it yourself type thing. Now, I what I mean by that is I totally, in a way, disregarded how um, the game mechanics work in in sense of like verticality, right? Building things vertical, building uh, buildings vertical. Things like that and whatnot, right? Always options that I just never thought about myself. Yep. Uh, and it would save a lot of, like, room, right? It would save a lot of room, absolutely. So, that's that. Um, I have been told to get rid of these ditches because apparently uh, there will be uh, something that goes here. So, that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to get rid of these ditches and we're going to do that and just I guess prepare for for uh, when something does happen here in the future so we're gonna go ahead and do that yep. now also another thing is like when it comes to games like building in games I do like to I, I, I tend to like to um, really build with the land if that makes any sense so like I'm not a big fan of it and and, and I know dinkum is kind of like it but I'm not a huge fan of like flattening out an area. Like anytime I've ever played like Minecraft or things like that, I've never just flattened out an area and just build on it. I like having like steps here. I like building with the land, you know, in a way. So it, it does kind of suck about the whole size of this base uh, being right, and that you know you can only um, you can only build so far, at least for this base. Now I have been told that uh, once you get to a different. Um, like a different area you'll you'll that I guess we'll see uh, will be will that will be different right you'll have a bigger area to work on now people have also said that uh, they have put like the farms on the outskirts which yeah all right the one thing about it is like I'm trying to like even myself understand how this works somebody said to like look at the map or something I, I, I kind of forgot what they said, but they said, look at the map when you're on the outside of the boundaries. And then when you're, you, you'll be able to know if you're within the space or with not in the space. I don't know. I'm really not sure. Uh, with that being said, um, also fixing scarecrows and crops uh, to fix the land. You just got to, you know, get the, pick it up, you know, pick up the scarecrow and then place it down again. So with that being said, I think verticality is probably one thing we do today, for sure. Verticality <clears throat> and, and things like that. Maybe getting rid of whatever this is. Maybe pushing back this. Not not getting rid of what a... Oh, well, God, I did, my, I did not mean to do that. Not getting rid of what this is, but... Um, <clears throat> um, pushing it back more, if we can. I don't know. We might not be even like able to do that because it's, it's like a certain rock or something. But we can definitely go out this way. Now, we learned how to... Uh, do bigger punches, hammer swings, so like shift into that, which is cool and all, but I mean, is it faster? Maybe, depending, depends on how much you need, like this big giant thing. I guess, yeah, I guess it's good. Yeah, I guess it's good. Yeah, all right. I mean, I mean, it's better than listening to bang, bang, bang all the time. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to try to, like... See, the problem here is, again, I'm not really sure how far out I should, I should dig this out, right? And I really want to avoid... I really want to avoid flat. I, I do. I, I want to avoid flat. It's, I'm kind of torn between myself here, I will say. I'm a little torn between myself. Yep. So are the dogs. They're they're torn about that too. But I am gonna move this. I'm gonna move this uh, this scarecrow out of the way. And we're gonna get yeah, we're gonna get rid of all of that, please. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of all of that. Uh, people said something about like 
I saw some people saying about planting grass. I, I don't even know how to plant grass. Uh, so that's something. The game, at least in this stage of the game, it doesn't really show you... Like, if, for your first time playing, you definitely need help, right? Because um, the game doesn't tell you every single thing that you can do, I guess, right? Because, like, and it doesn't really suggest either. Like, oh, maybe you should think about... Unless it did and I forgot, but I don't recall it saying, oh, you should build vertical. <laughs> you should build vertical. I, I'm not sure. Maybe it did. I love that people are eating now. That's good to see. But we got to replace... Oh, God. We got to replace our fields now so that we can have that consumption come in. I guess one thing that we could do is replace dirt in a way. Yep, there we go. Go back from that. There we go. There we go. Go back from that. I found this to be a little bit easier for me to do it this way. I don't know. I'm sure there's people that feel the same way too. There we go. And the, again, the one thing that just kind of like shifts me to the side here is the fact that I still am trying to figure out the whole base thing. I don't know. Maybe it's harder to tell when um, when it's raining or something. I don't know. I feel like I should go back to the comment. Let me, let me, you know what? Let me just go back to the comment and I'll see. Okay. So it says in the top left-hand corner, sorry, the top left-hand corner is will show, it will not show your town. So right there. Okay. So I see that shows my town. That doesn't. So there's your border. So right here is the, 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 the farthest that I can go out on. Okay, now I understand. Okay, well, I'm glad we got that situated. So, okay, now I understand where, I guess, the border of the town will be. Okay, all right. I still think, personally, that it should be different, but, you know, this game's kind of old now, so it doesn't really matter. All the way out here, uh, until, like, right there, right? Right here? That's our border. That's our border for sure. Okay, so let's kind of let's kind of meet that halfway. No, let's meet that halfway. Let's go. We'll push this out. Kind of do this, even though you know I'm not a big fan of it, but we will do it for for the for the game because it is practical, I guess. I don't even know this is how far does this far how far does this go out? Damn, this goes out way over to here. Right here. Yeah, right there. Interesting. Okay. All right. So we can see how much room we have. We just got to like terraform the best to our ability. There we go. There we are. And we'll do the flat surfaces. And we'll make the fields. And we'll do it all better. We'll, we'll ship it up a little bit, right? Ship it up indeed. I know I kind of F that one up, but that's all right. <laughs> there we go. And maybe what I do back here is I'll put some fields back here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put some fields back here for sure now that we have all the soil that we got right there we go don't tell me i can't place that there please okay so what i'll do is i'll do this and i'll bring you back when i have a flat area okay so what i have done is i've made a a bit of a like backfield kind of thing going on here and i'm gonna place this bad boy right there yes and has now made a field and now he will do his thing I believe that's the border, right? Yeah, that's the border. I will put another field right there. And then over here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of steps coming down to this. And then we'll have like two backfields, which is going to be great. So now we have more room to work with, right? More buildings, more rooms and all that. Now that we have the uh, whole uh, base, uh, circular motion, all whatnot in this. Yes, yes, amazing indeed. Oh, now that we have the uh, area kind of figured out, that's good. Uh, let's go uh, cabbage, right? Now, the only tricky thing is, is that, like, having to grow this uh, plant in a paddy field. What the heck is a paddy field? What does this say? Oh, wait. Grow, okay. Paddy field. Paddy field is a, uh, is like the water, right? You need water to be able to grow that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these um, seeds away so that they can start working on it. Let's go here. Go here. There we go. go here. No, no. Go in here. 
And then we will throw in... Oh, yeah. I, why... This is so strange. Why is it like... They only take from your pot bar, not your inventory itself either. There we go. Put the cabbage seeds back into there. And then we will put in more wheat seeds. Stow those into there. And then we will also stow uh, the sugar cane, right? No. Not the sugar cane. The sugar cane seedlings, yes. The sugar, sugar cane seedlings in there. There we go. Now, we should be able to stow away um, sugar cane, right? Because I believe we've cooked sugar cane before. So we can actually... I, I think it made candies, right? Let's see here. Let, let's test this out. This theory out real quick. We'll go over here. We'll go place, cook. And I think that was candies. Yeah, it's candies. So, yeah, I'm going to put these sugar canes all into the farm now. And they will uh, be able... Or into the agriculture kitchen. And they will be able to cook that up too. There you go. Have fun with that. Looks like our seeds are already being planted. Our wheat seeds there. Awesome to see. Cool. Now we're starting to get into the groove of things. Yeah. There we go. We'll collect some more candy there. I'm going to go ahead and slide this through and make this kind of even. There we go. And if I can, I'm going to come over here and build some stairs. Uh, not a bridge. Wooden steps. Horizontal log. Uh, I, I feel like I have steps on me. Yeah, I do have steps on me. Good. Good thing I checked, right? <laughs> and I would like to put some steps right there and some steps right there. Nice. Even though they just clearly did not use it. Now, this is going to be put out. So, we have the one seed. We have the wheat seed going on. And then the cabbage seed will also be put into place here. And then we need the sugar cane, which means we need a paddy field, which is the whole water, underwater surface field. Now... Maybe what I do is I don't put the sugar cane here, right? Maybe I don't put the sugar cane here. What do I have here? Can I just put nothing there? No seeds will be shown. Okay, yeah. I don't want any seeds to be put in here. Instead, I might have to build out a little bit of a patty thing uh, for our sugar cane. I could do that over here. Excuse me. So there's our cabbage. Uh, yeah, so if you put out into this direction, kind of fill this out and make it go this way. Um... We should, oh god we should be able to do that uh, like i have i have a vision right? i have a vision in my head how to do it so i wonder if i could dip into this i could but there's no point i'll build my own instead all right that's good to see all righty with that being said let's see where our maps are and let's see here we could go back to this way what where have we not gone what is that right there it's like, it looks like a, a building or a bridge. Can we go over there? Hang on a sec. Have we been over there is the question. Clifftop cabin. Maybe. Let's go there. Let's go on an adventure right now. Yeah, let's go on an adventure. We'll let them do their seeds thing. Now, which direction was that? Was that this way? Give me the full map here. Yes. Okay, yes. Let's go this way. Now, this way we definitely, I don't think, have been. I'm willing to go ahead and check it out over here. We do have Malroth with his... Oh, God, that looks like rough waters down there. Oh, there's a bridge right there. That's what I was looking for. This is where we got our poison needle last time. Looks like that monster is no longer there. So, it's good to know that the baddies, I guess the big baddies... They don't respawn, right? I guess that's my answer there. But there is a bridge over here. And I'm willing to go on this bridge to see where it takes us. I do see a campfire as well. And a rat. You'll find no sugarcane seedlings around here. I've heard that different types of vegetables used to be grown on the east and west side of Furrowfield Bog. East and west. This place could use a bit of variety. I'd rather see all sorts of different fields than the same stinky, slimy mud everywhere. If you're planning on starting a farm, I suggest you grow different plants in different fields. It would look a lot neater than just growing everything together. Yeah, all right. I, 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 I agree. I agree. But I would like to go this way. What does this say? This way to the eastern bog. Yes, I would like to go to the eastern bog. Because apparently this is way that we have not gone. Ah, I see a fast travel, and I see another baddie over there. I do. I do see a baddie. I'm going to call the big guys baddies, because I don't know what to call them. And they call them baddies in this game, so the characters call them baddies, so I guess that's what I'll do. What is this? 
Is this more sugar cane, yeah? Yep. Uh, excuse me. Probably, right? Tomato seeds, dude! We got tomato seeds, so there's our fourth one. Hey, I've never seen the seed like this before. Could that be tomato seeds? The ones Perry's was after. We still need to find out how to plant them, though. Let's see if there's someone around here that we can ask. Okay, cool. So we have... What is that? Dry grass and a planting pole. Nice. So we're going to need the planting poles, I assume. So good. So now we have tomatoes. Nice. Uh, right here. No, no. Stop. Stop barking, dog. Good. Tomatoes in our pockets. Very cool. And we have another fast travel system here, too, as well. Let's go and examine that. Turn that on. Looks like there's some treasure off in this way. Yeah, there is treasure. Oh, this is cool. Let's see here. Open this up. What? Wheat? Yeah, more wheat seeds. Nice. Good to see. Good to see more wheat seeds. This guy is going to get it. Right in the caboose. Oh, all right. Well, this guy is not going to get it. We're going to talk to him instead. Kaz tries to strike up a conversation, but there's no response. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see what this rat says. Ah, the stupid orc. His diet is absolutely terrible. I'm trying to help, but if the children of Hargon find out I've been cooking for him, I don't know what uh, has me more worn out, all this cooking or all this worrying about what will happen if they find out. Can I, can I cook for him? Like... Can I cook for him? Would he be okay with that? I get so ratty when I'm busy. I wonder if I can cook for him, no? Hello, buddy. Are you alright? He seems very upset. Very, very upset indeed. There's so many of these slime things around here. Let's see. I, I mean, I doubt it. I doubt we can cook him something, but might as well like give it a try, right? Is there anything up here of interest? Doesn't seem like it. Come on now. Let me see what you got. I, I, I don't think this is going to do anything, but... It's good to know. It's good to know. Rather than not know. Let's go here. Grilled greens. Awesome. Uh, would you like something to eat? No response. Interesting. Okay, right. Alright. What is this? This has something to do with the planting pole. No? I wonder if we grew him like tomatoes here probably probably what it is we grow him tomatoes the crabs are like kicking their own ass with the like thorns very well what the frick are those dude those are like hands oh my god oh my lord okay what do you drop i don't even know what you drop crab okay we have crab like oh god <laughs> i don't know but they strike pretty heavy though i'll give them that what the frick was that? Crab claw, but what was this? Oh, a grass seed. Ah, so that is where the grass seed comes in, no? The grass seed, my friend. Let's go this way. This place looks pretty cool. Giant trees. Looks like more bamboons of some sort. Oh, God. Nope. Don't get hit. He's very, very upset. He's throwing a tantrum. I don't know what I got from him. I think it was might have been whoa wood wood or something. Okay, it is the middle of the night. That actually does scare me a bit. Okay, nothing there. Sorry. Sorry. I wonder if they can hurt each other. What the frick? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, here. Let me help you out, Malroth. There you go, buddy. Oh wait, he don't die. Now he's dead. Pick a side, Malroth. There we go. I think they're drop. They're dropping bark. Do they, whoa, do they keep respawning? Do they come from the trees? They might come from the trees. I don't know. Whoa, what did he get? Medical shrub seed. Interesting. What is this? Always grab resources because you never know what you can make out of them, right? I'm going to take out this cloud, though. Very, very cool. All right. Uh oh, it looks like another big guy over here. Now, I wonder if he's going to be friendly or not. It doesn't look like he's going to. Well, actually, he does because the rat's over here. He's probably having trouble over here, too. Let's see what he has to say. The path behind me leads up to the lookout. You can see everything from there, even the old Deatrice squeak. Uh, but you'll have to be content with just looking. You can't get there if you can't fly. Uh, what? You can get. You can't get there if you can't fly. This, this, this gentleman. 
Are you alive? Oh my god. Okay, he is definitely not on our side. And we are getting double teamed right now. Okay, that was a pretty big hit. I don't think he's going to be hard. I think we'll be fine. God, good dodge. Good, good actual job, buddy old pal. My good god almighty. Good for you. <laughs> it's okay. We'll be fine. I'll take on this guy real quick. If you can take on the other guy, Malra. There we go. Okay, now let's take him on. Let's go, Malra. Oh, yeah, the ghosts are here now because it is the nighttime. That's all right. We can still take this guy on. Oh, we got saved by the leaf. Oh, that felt like a wasted leaf, but, you know, at least we got saved by it nonetheless. I will say, I, my dodge attack there was very poor on my part. Okay, that's all right. He's almost dead. Yep, I, I went into that one myself. I'll let Malroth maybe take him on. Very difficult to do. Uh oh, Malroth, Malroth, Malroth. There you go, Malroth. Careful, Malroth. Hang on, we got him, we got him, we got him. He's done for, he's done for. There we go, ton of seedlings with us. Very cool. Got a little bit of, what the heck was that? Medical shrub? Medicinal shrub seed. There we go. Malroth! I got you, buddy. Don't worry. I'm, we'll go up to the lookout even though we can't fly. <laughs> Excuse us. We're just, I'm just carrying my, my good friend with me. Carrying my good friend to the top of this mountain, if you don't mind. Yes. <laughs> okay. This is actually kind of cool, though. It's okay, Malroth. You, 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 you take most of the hits anyways. I do subpar damage compared to you. There's a sign right there, though. Don't throw him off of the damn mountain. Let's read this. It says, May the Dia Tree bring hope to the land, a a hope that lies on the far horizon. Okay. So, yeah, you must have to fly over there in order for something to happen. That's fine. At least we have an idea. At least we know when we come back, we have the idea of where to go. Or at least a way to go. If we learn, I guess, an ability to fly... We get the ability to fly. Maybe there's something we can craft or something, rather. And we know that we can at least go that direction. It is daytime now. That's good to know. Um, there's a part of me that kind of still wants to discover a little bit more. There is something over here. Like a little bit of a sign. Sign action happening. I mean, I have another seed. I, I do have medicinal shrub. And I do have the tomatoes. We just don't know how to plant the tomatoes, I guess. Maybe somebody at home will, will be able to teach us. But this must be another flying area that we can go to, I'm guessing. Uh, May the yellow flowers of the covenant bring joy to the land, a joy that lies on the far horizon. Yellow flowers, yeah? Interesting. Okay, let's see here. Let's take our happy chaps back home. Yes. And we'll see what we can do with these seeds. I assume maybe somewhere around here people can teach us how to use the tomatoes? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just screwed in that regard. I don't know. Let's see here. Examine. Ah, yes. Okay, so no. Um, there must have been a character back there that we didn't run upon that probably teaches us, right, how to do it. Unless we can talk to somebody here that will tell us how to do it. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's pull it out. Let's go medicinal shrub. Can we do that? All we have to do is maybe plant it somewhere. Maybe we'll get that notion. Let's see. I I don't I don't think that that <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that was uh I don't think that's no <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. So the seed of a climbing vine with freshly red fruit. Plant and tilled earth with a planting pole. pole. Okay. So maybe we could do that. So, planting pole. We have five planting poles. Let's see how we can go about this. So what if I were to go boom, 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 and boom. Can I do this myself, yeah? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. That should work, right? So we do have tomatoes down. Yeah, we do have tomatoes down. Medicinal shrub doesn't count. So we have tomatoes down. 
We have cabbages down. We have wheat down. We need to put sugar cane down, which is just our own fault, uh, which we will do eventually. And then there must be one more at the western bog, right? That's what he said, the western bog, which we might take a trip over to the western bog. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and um, stow these, stow these away. Now I'm going to take this giant hit of wheat on me and also i'm gonna take some of these grilled greens and these candies i'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch of these wheat into there nice all right so the western bog i think that's the way we go right now kind of adventure out and get that last seed that we need there we are, there we are. love getting the hearts it's like my favorite thing to do in this game let's see here okay let's go to the bog yes this this banks of the bog we'll go to the banks of the bog this time and we'll head out to the west and that way we should be able to find our next thing right now wait a sec there is a question mark over here let's see uh, i'm not exactly sure what he's doing here but i saw a bondkin archer just over to the west he seemed to be having trouble with something perhaps he needs help He's not likely to have any of those seedlings you're looking for, but you should go and say hello anyways. Okay. Right, okay, let's do that. Let's take this way. Now that we're, like, I don't know, I feel like we're better equipped, right? Like, um, weapon-wise and, and kind of health-wise. Let's do it. Let's head on over there. Uh, we'll go this way. Uh oh uh, more sugar cane. I, I, more sugar cane seedlings. I think we have enough right now. I'm not going out of my way for them. Ah, yes. Oh, but there is treasure, and I am a treasure fiend. I wonder if you can crack open these these boxes, yeah? You can get wood from them. Nothing too exciting. Yes, I see it, dog. You don't need to stand on top of it. What is this? Uh, cabbage. Okay, cool. More cabbage. Got it. Hello? Oh, this is the archer. Look at him. Mm -hmm. A human, but too smart. This one looks too smart by far for the children of Hargon. Who are you, boy? A builder, you are, at Furrowfield Farm, growing a dia tree, you are. Wish to know more about sugarcane ceilings, you do. Nothing of sugarcane, I know, but aid from a builder. I require, hear my plea, you must. Sounds like a Yoda kind of thing. A bodkin, am I? Yeah, it does sound like a Yoda. Love green, we do. To change this spoiled soil to green grass, day and night I toil. Uh, but the, green, the grass seeds I need, stolen by muddy hands, they were monstrous agents of the children of Hargon. Please, Builder, in desperate need of, of aid, am I? Fight money hands. You must have, it must have five seeds recovered. You must. Okay, so the five muddy hands that were like, what the heck are those? Easy enough. Uh, we already have two. Sorry, three. We have three that we can do for you, buddy. There you go. Ah, this is nice. Okay, so now I understand what the grass seeds all do. This is good. All right, I will take on the Muddy Hands. I guess the only way I can find the Muddy Hands is off to the east. Unless they're over here by the west as well, but there's more treasure over here. Oh, very good. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Can I actually take that? I can, and I will. Cook fire. Sick. Anything else I can take here? Let's see here. Seeds? Wheat seeds. Cool. Or wheat seeds. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, I doubt we can find the money, find the muddy hands over here. So we're gonna have to go back to the eastern bog. Now, I wish I would have known that beforehand, but that's all right. We should get good XP for killing this guy. We know that we are capable of such, and it's a lot easier to do this when you're not being attacked by ghosts, not being attacked. Oh god, you're not being attacked by other mobs at the same time. So this should be a fairly fast fight here. I don't really use my power attack because I feel like it just takes a long time to charge up. For 20 to 27 damage when I can just spam it, right? There you go. I feel like this is a better uh, better approach. He's dead. Bam! More seedlings of sugar cane. <laughs> okay. Right. So nothing else over here. Uh, ooh, what is this? Ah, just cow. Just kelp. 
That looks interesting. There's a tree up there, too. I'm interested. I can swim out this way, yeah? <sighs> oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Shout out to the people that might be afraid of, like, deep waters in games. <laughs> there is people that are afraid of the deep waters in games. Oh my lord, dude. That took me for a little bit of a wind. My lord. I am interested, though. Let's see here. Should be able to take this up. And take this up. And be at the top where there is a tree. Let's read the sign. It says, May the pink flowers of the covenant bring life to the land. A life that lies on the far horizon. Ah, pink flowers. So the other one was yellow, and this one is pink. Something to do with the flowers. Interesting. There's a bad guy over there. There's a big baddie. I feel like <laughs> jumping off into the water. Yeah. There is a bad guy over here. I'm willing to take him on. Uh-oh. What's going on over here? A malicious monster draws near. Dude, this game definitely, like... Once you start adventuring out, you go from one direction to another direction to the holy crap, what the hell is that? Oh no! No! Stop it! You coward! What? Okay. <laughs> right. Nice, dude. <laughs> so that's a thing, apparently. Uh, okay. Okie dokie, artichoke. So don't do what I just did, apparently, because that will take you to hell. <laughs> okay. That was kind of silly. I didn't know it was going to be like an insta-death type of thing. Our health wasn't that low. That's all right. Now we know that thing will... Insta death you easily. And then more of that stuff. There we go. Okay. Put more seeds in there for them. Right. Okay. Um, I still want to go back. Uh, probably not to that exact spot, but we know that there's a monster out there, so that's kind of good to know. But we got to go back out to this way where we can get to the muddy hands so that we can take that to the Yoda archer kind of guy and, like, you know, get the grass seeds that we need. We're looking for muddy hands over here. Muddy hands. At least the, this, the reason why I go here is because this is the only way I found... This is the only place I really found them. I would like to take that from y'all. Give me those grass seeds. Thank you. I haven't seen them anywhere else except for this one location. I'm actually tempted to harvest some of it for myself at back at the camp too. There we go. We're back at the base. And then these crab claws, which I'm assuming we can probably put their crab claws on the fire. Maybe? I don't know. There we go. Maybe not. Maybe use them for some... Now, that is intriguing. Can I get that? No? Okay. See, so that little lily pad, or big lily pad in that case, was a little intriguing. Oh, there's a rat over here. Hello, sir. If it's tomato seeds you want... Uh, Squeak, hello, human. Did you know you can sometimes find tomato seeds buried underground? But don't bother trying to find them yourself. You'll need some way of sniffing them out like Furrowfield Retriever. Well, you're lucky I have one. I guess I'm lucky I have one. Oh god, I just jumped on a barb. That wasn't good. So I wonder if there's tomato seeds out this way. Yeah, there is. I see them. And I see a guy in a cave over there, too. My god. This game is just taking me on a whirlwind today. I want these super bad. Alright. Uh... First things first, take that. Give me that. Okay, this is super, super hard to see. Okay. Ah! Man, the first person mode, dude. Uh, is that all? The okay, there's one right there. Is that all the, um, yeah, it seems like that's all the, um, stakes. Come over here. Uh, hello, my good man. Are you friendly, Inferno? You can use the stinky stuff to change the ground in all snorts of ways. Just try it and see. The stinky stuff. Build. Rest. Soil. The stinky stuff. What do you what do you mean by that? The stinky stuff. 
the stinky stuff. There must be like it's this. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? Oh, it, wait, night soil. You're not talking about night soil, are you? I don't think you are. I don't think that's what you mean, right? I mean, you have like a little plot here indicating maybe something you want me to put on that as far as like the stinky stuff goes. Can I take your stuff? I can take your stuff. Sick. <laughs> nice. Sorry to take your box, but I'm taking your box. Okay, let's go this way. Kind of want to go out that way to see if there's more... Um, yeah, there is. I see it right there. More tomato seeds. Absolutely. Oh! Yeah, there's definitely more tomato seeds over here. Okay, first we gotta take on these crabs, guys. So take this out. Take this out. Oh, God. Good job, Malroth. There we go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Take out the steak. This guy's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Not anymore medicinal leaf we got from him. Okay, okay, here you, doggy. It's all good. It's like the fable dog, dude. Constantly barks over and over. There you go. There you go. Okay, nice. We have a lot of seeds, just don't have the recipe for the steaks, I don't think. Probably earn the recipe for the steaks in some degree, some way, right? It's not this way now. Now look at me. I, I, I want to discover. I'm all over the place today. It's fun. It's fun to discover all these things. What is that? Ah, okay, it, it wraps back that way. Okay, good, good, good to know. Uh, let's go back to the archer. Oh my god, you hear Mercy? You okay, Merce? Okay, let's go back to the archer, the Yoda archer. Plant his grass seeds in. Tell him he's having a good day. Excuse me, pardon me. Yeah, there's no hands out here, I don't think. There's a northern bog, the... Or, sorry, the southern bog. The western bog and the eastern bog. Oh, there are the mud guys. They're right here, right next to this thing this whole time. All right, well, that's good to know. At least they're a lot closer. I just didn't see them before. Interesting. I, I guess I just kind of ran right past them. Well, that's good to know. At least we can get these right here. I didn't have to go all the way out the way I did. There we go. Cool. I know your sugarcane devers are there. All right, all right, all right, all right. There you go. We already have plenty of sugarcane as is. I guess having more is not a bad idea. Oh, God. There we go. Okay, let's go on. Give this guy his uh, his grass seeds that he wants. <clears throat> and we have quite a few to use for ourselves back at home, too. Hello, my good man. There you go. There you go. Nice work, Hans. Those green seeds are pretty fast acting, eh? I imagine that little green goblin you'll be you guy will be over the moon. You should let him know the good news. Maybe there'll be something in for us. Well, I mean, he's standing right next to you. <laughs> Replace rotten mud with fresh turf you have. Yes, yes, yes. Very good, this is. When you plant grass seeds, fresh grass will spring forth, and to healthy earth, spoiled soil will be churned. Long, long ago, many wigglies roamed these lands. Clean, they kept the soil. Lush, the grass grew. With grass seeds, warm food, you could, uh, could you make? Make a wiggly turn all the soil around it to turf, it does. In days gone by, to find a wiggly to help, not so difficult would it be. Bodkins, fat rats, humans, and wigglies all close allies we were. But more there, but more there is to this story. The builder of legend also among us, he was. A fresh-faced, wide-eyed beginner builder like you, he was not. A strong, heroic, courageous master builder, he was. But then... Wither and die, the deity did. So, uh, so too, the island did. Until like this, it ended up. Hear me, young builder. If a wiggly, you should meet on your travels. Your warmest greetings give to them from me and from all of the Bodkins. One day the wigglies will carpet our island in lush green grass again. We hope. Interesting. I like to hear that. Ah, recipe, right? Learns a new recipe. Pulls out his handy dandy notebook. 
Worm food, a lush, loamy lump of worms' favorite father, fodder. Lemon, or sorry, summons Wrigley to turn soil into mo uh, meadow. Oh, very good. Cool. Nice, that's good to know. Thank you for that, bud. Thank you for that, indeed. Nice, okay, cool. I'm just kind of look, looking around to see what other potential things we can get ourselves into here. There's a lot of, I think, up... I don't know, I feel like north... Up north has been mostly discovered. There might be something said for like this, or sorry, this way, at least this way. What the heck is this? That might not have been discovered. I might need to check that out. You know what? Let's go there. Yeah, let's go there. We'll go to the orc's tomato farm. I wonder if I need to like build him a tomato farm right here. You think? You think? Let's see. We have a couple of steaks. Might as well try it. I mean, we can at least try. There we go. Oh my god. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 my good man. You don't just come out of nowhere. If we were going to finish this job, we're going to have to find some more seeds and make some bigger fields. Wait a sec. Can't try to strike up a conversation with no response. Maybe not. I was hoping maybe that was a way. I don't know. I might have to do something with that later. Or with this. I feel like the game gives you messages in the sense of, like, how they place things sometimes. Okay, I'll take those back regardless. And the way I wanted to go, I believe... Oh, yes, I can see on top of that mountain up there. There's something up there. Let's go that way. Oh, yeah, look at me. That was risky, jumping over the thorns. I do see something over here. I do, I do, I do. I see a uh, brown bear, brown bear. I see with my eye or something rather... I don't know. <laughs> Let's go that way. Might be tricky on how to get up there, though. Don't attack me. There we go. Just scale the mountain and you shall be okay. Hey -oh. Uh Oh, am I not allowed to go up that way? I'm sorry. I, I felt like there was an invisible wall there. That was just a bad jump. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We can go this way. I got a little scared there. I thought there was like an invisible wall there. Ah, oh, is this a puzzle? Yes, it looks like a puzzle indeed. Interesting. Okay, okay. I mean, simple enough, right? I'm thinking you just complete the, the Rubik's Cube in a way. Complete the cube, right? Okay. Bring those into... Yeah, these mud bricks. Bring them in. There we go. Pull them out. I might have to build my own thing up there, or at least, yeah. There we go. That worked out. Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Ah. Ah. I might have to build up to this one at least. I am kind of cheeking it, am I? There we go. Got it. Good. Puzzle completed. Mini metal for me. Might as well take out this freaking bird right next to me, right? I solved the puzzle. Well, yes, yes, I did. I did solve the puzzle. Take you out. Come on. Bye bye. Thank you. Give me my metal. Thank you. I don't know what like we, we're supposed to use these for something, right? These uh these mini metals. Yeah. All right, let's go home. It is nighttime now. We'll go home. There we go. Head on back. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go to sleep right away. Oh, look at all these hearts, though. Oh, the wiggly worm. He has, a, he has an exclamation mark for me. Good. Go to sleep so we don't get attacked. I think so far, I think, honestly, today has been a good day. Yeah, I do. I, I feel like today has been a good day. I feel like we've accomplished quite a bit. 
There we go. Yep, yep, yep. There we are. Let's we'll talk to our boy here. Hello. Uh, hello there. And me handsome, handsome. I earned something interesting from, or I heard something interesting from Malra, so I did. Tells me you two met a bodkin and did I'm a favor. Uh, says he worked out how to make worm food in the process and all. That's blime and brilliant news. Why didn't he tell me sooner? If I didn't know better, I'd think he'd only add eyes for making fields, and he ain't given a single thought to them grassy metals I love so much. But I ain't going to give up that easy. I'll do me and me, ma, and pa, and their mass, ma's and pa's before I'm proud. I'm going to turn the old island green. I'll need your help to do it, though, Cans. Worm food makes made from grass seeds and night soil, right? Oh, okay. Do me a girt fit big favor and make me one of them balls of worm food. Plonk them down somewhere away from your fields and I'll turn the area around into a lovely little lawn. If you're wondering where to get your ends on, on night soil, look no further than the pot. Ah, in the tiny room. Don't worry about getting your ends dirty. Can clean them up with the towel you put in there. Ah, very good, very good. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I should be able to make some now, right? I mean, yeah. There you go. Wor one worm food coming up. We should be able to just throw this down. Like, honestly, place it over here, right? Oh, well, it's a big area, it does. Okay, so it doesn't do, like, this uh, tilled soil. It does the mud, though. That's good. That's good to know. Look at him go! Green and lush! Oh, he loves it. Nice. Ah, did you see that? Uh, we made that grass from scratch, so we did. And now I can keep making grass for as long as I keep making... Now, wait a sec. It only took that one tiny little grass. It didn't do like... He didn't do like the rest of the mud. So you, can you not do the mud? Is it just the light green into the dark green or something like that? Or is this just for the quest's sake? For as long as keep him, keep making worm food, before long we could have the old island good and green. Oh my goodness. Oh, Rosie. Did you make that warm food yourself, Cans? How did you do it? What in the world did you make it out of? Tell her. What? What do you mean? You know what? Uh, if, if I knew, I wouldn't have asked. Most impressive. Oh, Malroth. Oh, in the past, sir. The corruption has been purified and grass grows upon the earth once more. Keep this up and we shall have furrow field back in, in fine fettle before we know it. <laughs> yeah, not bad. When we're finished here, let's get this guy to work his magic on the Isle of Awakening. Lulu's, Lulu will throw a fit. Ah, thanks everyone. I couldn't have done it without your help. If we keep at it, we might be able to get some nice little flowers growing too. Flowers? I've always wanted to see flowers. I've only heard, heard about them in stories. I can't wait for the day that comes. So, yellow flower, pink flower at those mountaintops, right? Wait, something's coming. Uh-oh. Battle? Oh no. It looks like the children of Hargon are massing up a, for, for a big attack. A real battle? Finally, I'm so excited. I can't even. Uh, do you reckon they want to, like, smash the whole farm up? I suspect that is exactly their intention. We must do everything within our power to defeat them. If you haven't already, could you do us a solid and kit us out with the sweetest weapons you can? The better our gear, the better our chances, right? Uh, what do you say, Cans? Are you re ready for battle? Um, no. <sighs> now, I have weapons on us, but who can take it? Okay, give it to this guy. Give one to you. Right? You can have one. Anybody else can have one? No, not Bonzo. Bonanzo. Not Clayton. Not Brittany. Rebel Rancher has one already. You can't have one. You guys can't have one. I think everybody that can technically have one has one. Okay, so I guess we're ready. Yes, we are ready. Let's go. Good. It's been ages since the last big fight, and I've been itching for some action. Let's get out there and make the most of it. Let the battle commence. Defeat the enemy in front of the bath house. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, this is, I mean, unless it comes in waves, this, this, this battle right here shouldn't be too bad. Oh my god. Good hit. 
Look at our people go. Okay, that cloud up there is a, a little annoying. There you go. Look at us. We just plowed them. Oh my lord. Yep, it is waves. Nope. I'm looking on you, Malroth. You're our guy right now. We have like other farmers going out with like basic swords. You have like the best weapon out there. So it's all on you, Malroth. We're going to get level 7, I think, here too. Let the battle commence. I love that. That was funny. Let the battle commence. There we go. Send it here. Good job. Good job. Another wave of them. Yep, there we go. There's our other wave. They take out the skeletons first. They're more crazy. We did get a level up, though. We are level 7 now. So once this battle is over, we will probably, like, in get that, you know, get that all in. I will take a eat of bread. There we go. Oh, that was fast. Holy crap, this is a massive one now. And he's gonna hurt hard. Take out the clouds first, I think, right? I've become paralyzed. That is terrible news. Now I wish I had that. Oh, God. Now I wish I had that, um... What is it? The, um... Oh, Lord, that was a good shot. I did not even see that coming. The base integrity is still at 100%, so that's cool. Um... But I didn't, uh... Like, what is it? I'm trying to say. What am I trying to say? Um... Oh, I'm losing my thought of my process here. My thought process. Oh, Lord. I forgot what I was going to say. I got so distracted in the in the heap of battle. Oh, no. It's okay. So this guy's, like, waiting for that attack. Everybody backed up except for me. That was dumb of me. There. That should have been the last of it, right? Yeah, the monsters are defeated. Our integrity stayed at 100%, though. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have leveled up, though. Do go in for the high five. While Roth gets stronger and Cans reaches a level seven, his maximum HP has increased. His breath gauge gets a little bit bigger. Oh, okay. Breath gauge. Yeah. I don't know, like underwater breath gauge? Victory. Let the battle commence. There's your high five right there, buddy old pal. Gosh, Cans, that was an even tougher fight than the one before. It seems like the ch children of Hargon really have it in for us. Uh, it is layman, layman table, rosy, and yet unavoidable. Um, I do not see any way to broker a peace between us. Uh, do you know of the brainy bad boon? I am a mere pastor, but he is the primate of Furrowfield. Not only does the outrank, does he outrank me by far, but his control over the island is absolute. He is away at present, but when he returns, I will attempt to make him see reason. I may be able to convince him... Uh, of the Deatree's value, uh, but the mere sapling will not uh, sway away, sway him, sway him. If I am going to stand any chance of prov proving its worth, we must grow the Deatree to her full height. All right then, uh, Pastor Al. So when are you actually going to get your hands and dirty and start helping us? What? 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 Yeah, Malroth's uh, right. You live here on the farm with all the rest of us builders. When are you going to join in? You expect me, an avatar of destruction, to become a builder? Hmm. Mm, it is an interesting proposal. I will grant you that. Perhaps I may even consider it one day. All right, it's a deal. Come on, Kans. Let's grow two more types of crops, complete the pasture's task, and make this place the finest farm of on Faro Field. Let's do it, everyone. Hey! Cool. A lot more quests uh, popping up in front of us here, but that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Dragon Quest Builders. I will see you guys in the next one. Do take care.